Hello and welcome to another Hot Rods to Review. In this video, I will be continuing my blind review of the series, My Hero Academia Vigilantes. The arc I'm reviewing is known as the Osaka Incident Arc. It was only seven chapters long and I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of disappointing, but I promise you won't be disappointed if you click that red subscribe button because we will get more vigilante reviews right in your subscription feed. With that being said, let's get into this review. Oh, where to even begin with this arc? I guess I may have set my expectations for this one a little too high after the masterpiece that was the last arc. The narration at the end of the Versus Queen Bee arc led me to believe that there was going to be some sort of time skip and I was completely wrong. There was a time skip, however, it doesn't seem as if Koichi nor Popstep went through any significant changes. The Crawler still can't really take on villains by himself, so he has to be consistently saved by other heroes, like Captain Celebrity. Speaking of, it seems as if Captain Celebrity is actually going to be more important in future arcs. It's almost as if he has taken the place of Knuckle Duster as the man of the house and mentor. Almost being the key word here because no one can replace the mighty Knuckle Duster. This is the first arc where he has absolutely no presence and I think that may be part of the problem. The truth about Knuckle Duster is that he was the driving force behind the last few arcs. He was the one who pushed Koichi to become a vigilante. He is the person who faced off against Stendhal and he is part of the reason as to why he grows to become the hero killer Stain. Knuckle Duster is the one who wanted to stop the usage of the drug Trigger. He's also the one who fought the climactic battle against his own daughter's body in the Versus Queen B arc. He was such an integral part of this story that it all just seems meaningless without him. Like there's no longer any goal or end game. His absence made me realize that Koichi is kind of a bad protagonist because he has no clear objective. I get that it was always his goal to become a hero and help people out, but he already does that. I guess what I'm saying is that it seems as if his ambition has already been fulfilled, so I'm curious as to what the story is even about anymore. I hope that Koichi takes a bit more agency in the future and tries to pave his own path. One of the positive things I have seen from this character was the idea to maybe use a weapon. It is something that would definitely enhance his combat abilities and maybe even take him to the next level. I also really like the upgrade of Koichi's abilities. It was a very small thing, but it will definitely make him more versatile in the future. Seeing him have the ability to stick to things just reminded me of the beloved superhero Spider-Man. I've always sort of compared Koichi to Spider-Man because of his hero name. The Crawler is very similar to the Wall Crawler, which is the nickname for the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. The actual plot of this arc was okay, I guess. I mean, it wasn't bad, but my main issue is that it seems as if the Crawler and Popstep were side characters in their own story. This arc may become to a truly horrifying realization. Since Koichi isn't really mentioned in the main series, it's possible that he will never amount to anything. He may just be a side character forever and never achieve anything worthy of praise. I hope this isn't the case. I'd much rather see him achieve some greatness and then maybe die in the end, which would make sense as to why we'd never really heard him mentioned in the main series. In this route, at least he would grow to have some sort of impact. His death isn't really necessary though. It's possible that he would just be imprisoned for vigilantism. This would also make sense because it doesn't seem as if Koichi is even trying to hide his identity anymore. He consistently forgets to bring a mask or just removes it entirely when other people are around. It's weird that he doesn't try to protect himself more because he does know that what he is doing is very illegal. There is definitely some setup for legal troubles in the future. Overall, this wasn't a terrible arc, but it just didn't really hold my attention. There were new characters that were interesting, but ultimately there just wasn't enough focus on the main characters. And without Knuckle Duster, there wasn't any of the brutal action that kept me interested in the last few arcs. However, despite this, I've still only heard good things about this series. I'm guessing that there's going to be great things coming in the future and I can't wait to see it. I am mostly curious as to how Koichi will develop and evolve his fighting style in the future because it definitely needs work. I guess the only way to find out is to keep on reading. If you like this video, consider watching another one. I talk about a variety of different topics on this channel, mostly my hero right now, so I hope to see you there. This has been the Hot Rodster. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.